the day uh, we are going to learn how to install the WHMCS software and uh, also configure uh, the two of domain ECR API. Uh, so uh, what you need is an active domain and, uh, and an active uh, hosting. Um, without wasting so much time, uh, let's dive in, into the tutorial and uh, see how to, to get this deal done. So I have one domain here and I'm going to, to install it on a, a subfolder. Well, within the subfolder, I have the WGCS installation files. So what you need to do is to log into your cPanel and uh, navigate to uh, the directory of the of the ring uh, that you want to uh, set up your uh, your WHMCS. Uh, under this uh, root directory, what you need to do, you will right click and uh, extract the files. Click on extract files. Give it some few uh, around a minute or less until it's done. <coughs> we are now done. Then uh, just click on cross uh, reload. Loading. We have the WGMCS files, uh, they have been extracted in, a, uh, in another folder. So just uh, right click on this folder, uh, select, uh, select uh, all the files, and move them uh, one, one level up. So there is the, this uh, move functionality, and uh, uh, just delete uh, the, the, the folder name and click on move. Files. So basically, we have just moved them one level up, and here we are. So if uh, we reload our, our domain, uh, of course we will get a critical error. We need to connect to database because there are some more configurations that are needed. So we go back, we go back to the installation files and uh, locate a uh, uh, file named as configuration.php. Let's right click that. Click on edit and confirm edit. So what we need to do, we need to, to set up a, a database. Uh, for the database, we, we also need to, to add a user to that database and also a, a password. So back, uh, back to the cPanel where we navigate to uh, MySQL, uh, MySQL database wizard. You can open a new tab. So that you you save uh, uh, the database configuration uh, configuration parameters. So uh, let's go to uh, Notepad. I have an, an online Notepad. Uh, I do save uh, some uh, important uh, information. So we we'll go back uh, to my SQL database wizard. So we want to create a database for uh, our software. So we need to give it a name, and the name, uh, you can choose any name that is relevant to you. So we can talk of WHMCS. Let me add two, because I believe uh, I, had, uh, I have a similar database. Click on next step. Uh, then uh, you can add a user with exactly the same, uh, uh, the same uh, database name. That is the uh, WGMCS2. So we just uh, copy this uh, database name. Uh, let's have that. Uh, then DB user. Then DB password. Let's come back here. And uh, we, we need to generate our password or you can input a password of your choice. So for now, we are going to, to generate a password using the password generator, and I bring the actual uh, password. So just copy, copy the generated password, uh, acknowledge that you have copied, then uh, use password, click on use password, then uh, proceed to create a user. Then uh, we get back to our notepad and uh, copy paste uh, the password that we just created. Then uh, back to our MySQL database user, uh, click, click on this checkbox to give uh, the user all the privileges uh, for uh, undertaking um, 
uh, of the database functionalities, then uh, you can click on make changes or the next step. So uh, let's click on make changes. And uh, we already have a database name, a user, and a password. Uh, back to our configuration uh, we need to set up uh, these information that we have uh, generated here and I put them in this file. Uh, okay, so what we need to do, let's input our, uh, our password. The password is already in the clipboard. Uh, let's copy paste, come back here. Then uh, the database name, copy that, come back here. And you mean username, let's have that. And um, then we have DB name, let's copy that. Then for the port, uh, the default port for my SQL is 9306. Then um, for the host, change it to local host. And we are done with uh, the configuration file. Then uh, click on save changes. Uh, back to our uh, uh, root directory, uh, we need to, to access the URL uh, with the install uh, folder being active. So let's rename it back to installation or like install. Let us now access our, our URL uh, where we are, we are installing uh, the WHNCS and uh, input install and click on enter. The time. Uh, uh, once uh, you get this uh, page, click on I agree to confirm that you agree with that terms and conditions. Then uh, you need to check uh, system requirement check first. So everything is uh, in order. So let's begin our installation. So the license key, uh, I have a, a test a license key here with me. Let's copy that. You basically need uh, a valid license key for your WHMCS. Then uh, for the database, we, uh, for the database host, we have local host. For the port, we have 3306. Then for the database name, uh, let's come back uh, to our notepad. Uh, let's copy the database name. Uh, come back to our installation URL. Copy the database uh, username. Uh, also the uh, database name. Then uh, we go back uh, to fetch the, the password. Okay, and test. Uh, then continue. And the installation process will uh, be initiated, so let's give it some time. Alright, uh, so in this next stage, uh, you need to set up a, a, a first name, a last name, an email, a username, and a password for the uh, admin for the WTCS admin. So uh, let me just input uh, those credentials. Input those. Then I uh, set up a password. Another one, I confirm. Then uh, complete uh, setup. Uh, so far, so good. We are in the last stage of the installation. Uh, so at this stage, uh, our installation is successful, but one more step remains. The step is uh, setting up the Chrome job uh, so that you can have uh, real-time updates so that whenever a client uh, does some purchase, some payment, the system is able to, uh, to update in real time. So let's uh, go back to the cPanel and uh, search for Chrome, Chrome jobs. <coughs> now let's come back here and uh, get to them. Uh, you should set up a Chrome job in your control panel to run using the foreign command every five minutes. So let's copy this uh, URL. Once we copy that, let's come back here. And there um, are the common settings. Uh, let's select uh, once per five minutes. Uh, okay. Mm -hmm. Then let us input uh, 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 the cron job command and uh, click on uh, add new cron job. Sorry, uh, we needed to, to set uh, to set up um, uh, these other fields as well. So um, what we need to do, 
Let's check is instead of uh, let's come back here let's go with a common setting once per five minutes so that it auto fields uh, in all other fields then uh, we copy paste uh, uh, the cron job URL to this command field and add a new cron job uh, and a new cron job has been added and uh, we are done it's, uh, setting up the WHMCS module so you can now go to the admin area now Okay, so what you need to do in this stage, I just come back here and rename the installation uh, directory. You can delete it or you can delete it uh, so that uh, uh, your system is not prone to insecurities. Then just reload the system. Then uh, you login. Go ahead and use the same anti chest registry. Try to login. And I'm home as the administrator. Then uh, you need to visit our website and place an order for the WHMCS module. And uh, once you do that, we are going to, to give your account uh, administrative privileges, uh, rather the, the reseller privileges, so that you are able to, to use the, uh, the reseller module. So uh, let's navigate to my client area. Uh, where, we are, where we are going to fetch uh, some uh, uh, information that we want to use on uh, uh, the WHMCS uh, setup. So let's come to system settings. Then uh, let's talk of uh, uh, domain registrars. Uh, but before we, we do that, uh, we need the true host uh, domain reseller module. Uh, let's come come uh, come to this section. Yeah. Let me just quickly press an order for that. To go to your pricing uh, hosting. Very quickly. One. Uh, RSR API, and this is the uh, the website for those in Kenya. If you account is at this rank, uh, you can find the uh, RSR API at that uh, uh, at that uh, section. Then you can order now. Once you order, uh, the order will be activated, and you will receive uh, a download link for the for the module. So we are going to take a break as I confirm the order and we are going to be back uh, shortly. Thank you for your patience. We already now have our memory ceremony that uh, I have downloaded using a URL sent to my email upon uh, uh, placing an order. So we we'll come back to our root directory uh, where our installation files are. We navigate to uh, modules. Once you are in the module, um, just search for registrars. Here we are. Then uh, what you need to do, just um, click on upload. Then uh, you upload the Vericera module file that we just, uh, we just downloaded. Click back, click back to the root directory. Then with this file, you click and extract. Once you extract, you have a folder like this. So far, so good. We have, you already have the uh, domain reseller history, uh, rather, uh, the true domain reseller module uh, has already been uh, approved. Then we go back to uh, the WHMCS uh, uh, and uh, we come to settings. Let's just go back so that we can uh, catch up. Then let's go to uh, domain registrars. Then we scroll, we scroll down until you get to show off. Then there, there is this uh, activate button. Click on activate. Then give it some time. So we, we are required to fill in some details. So these details uh, you can uh, access them on your current area. So let's navigate to my current area. Uh, I'm currently in my 
anterior, then I navigate to domains. They are in the domain risk area. Then we navigate to the settings. Let's give it some time. Uh, under the reserve area, the settings, uh, we need to fetch uh, some settings here. Uh, so we are expected to query uh, the API username. This is basically uh, your true post email account. It's available here. You can just uh, copy paste. Uh, it's actually, uh, you, you actually can't be able to uh, copy paste that, but you can type uh, the email. Then uh, copy the API key. You can copy what uh, has already been generated from our end or generate uh, your own API key. And remember, if you generate your own API key after copying, you need to submit. Then come and input your, uh, your API key of that field and save changes. And that's how to uh, configure the true host uh, domain reseller module. Thank you so much for your time. Uh, bye bye.